So, Mike, what can you tell us about Brady's injury? Well, let's start with this, Michael. Tom Brady is not a day off type of guy. And, you know, some players like a maintenance day to stay off the field from practice, but not Tom Brady. He takes a lot of pride in being on the practice field. He wasn't on the field today, has a minor left shoulder injury. And I'll sort of take you right out onto the scene. I was out at practice earlier this afternoon. And as I was driving from the practice field to the media workroom, I actually saw Tom Brady driving off, presumably up to his TB Sports Therapy Center which is right up down the road here uh, from the stadium to get some work on that left shoulder. But I had asked him after the game on Thursday night about the hits he's taken, and he said, just football. I'll be there next Sunday. Aggravated the shoulder, actually, in the Carolina game, and then aggravated it again against the Buccaneers. But nothing, Michael, that I'm told he can't play through. Uh, another thing that's been interesting that he said recently is that uh, he positions himself and has learned how to take hits and fall on that left shoulder in order to protect his throwing shoulder. What, if any, adjustments do you expect him or the Patriots offense to make to better protect him? Well, it's a great point, Michael, and he did say that last week. And I just came out of the locker room not too long ago, and that was a big theme among players in the locker room today. I spoke with running back James White, and he said, point blank, we have to do a better job protecting Tom Brady, and we're all accountable for that. And Tom Brady has said himself, Michael, that he needs to get rid of the ball at times quicker, specifically in the red zone. He feels like he's holding on to the ball a little bit too long. So it's not just the offensive line. It's not just Tom Brady. It's not just the receivers. It's everyone uh, has a part in this trying to protect Tom Brady because the combination is what they don't want. A 40-year-old quarterback who's taken 32 hits in the first five games and 16 sacks. Great intel, Mike. Good to talk to you. I appreciate you, man.